Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, as we come to the end of Parkinson's Awareness Month, I'm going to be doing a special on Parkinson's disease using the biodigital human software. So I'm going to be talking about what Parkinson's disease is, what the symptoms are, and then I'm going to take you inside the brain to see why Parkinson's disease occurs. So a very easy way to remember the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, the major symptoms that I'm going to go into, is using the mnemonic TRAP. So we'll start with tremor here. So tremor is usually, it's shaking, typically on one side. And a very classic type of uh, tremor in Parkinson's disease is known as a pill rolling tremor, where the hand, you may have seen someone with Parkinson's disease, shakes like this, and it looks like they're trying to roll a pill in between their, index their thumb and their index finger. So that's tremor. Moving on to rigidity. Rigidity, stiffness usually of can be of the limbs, so arms, legs. Uh, the trunk, that's the center of the body, the neck. And uh, a particular type of rigidity in Parkinson's disease is known as cogwheel rigidity. So um, that's this sort of jerkiness, that short, sharp movements when you're trying to move um, muscles and joints and so on in your body. And then uh, the A in trap is akinesia. So akinesia is uh, loss or impairment and power of voluntary movement. And then finally, uh, posture and balance. So many changes in posture and balance. Uh, one that I want to bring your attention to is uh, known as shuffling gait. So that's a sort of short, um, sharp way of uh, walking. You shuffle. And uh, patients have described uh, having Parkinson's disease when they walk as feeling a little bit like they're falling over every single time they take one of those uh, small steps. So why does Parkinson's disease happen? Well, let's take a look at the brain. So here we're actually at the bottom side of the brain. I'm just going to orientate you here. That's the front of the brain, the back of the brain, and here's the bottom of the brain. And I want to alert you to an area in the midbrain called the substantia nigra. It literally translates as black matter or black substance. And um, this is the center of Parkinson's disease. So you'll see that it's very, very dark here it's because it has a lot of these dopaminergic neurons uh, that are involved in movement. And if you look at someone with uh, the brain of a Parkinson's disease patient, um, you'll see here, I've actually removed some of the brain here just to, just to give you um, an example of the actual pathway that I'm going to show you in a second. This area of the brain is very, very light. It's because these dopaminergic neurons have died. And so that black substance uh, actually um, goes away. And it affects what's called the nigrostriatal pathway. And that's involved in voluntary movement. So the nigrostriatal pathway, so nigro, that's, the, that's from the substantia nigra. Um, striatum is the chordate right here and the putamen. And there are projections that go between the, I'm going to sh use, you, uh, use the um, draw tool here just to show you, projections between the uh, substantia nigra and the chordate and putamen known as the striatum. That's the uh, nigro striatal pathway. And that's what's disrupted in uh, Parkinson's disease. And that's why you get all of those symptoms. So that was a special on Parkinson's disease uh, for Parkinson's Awareness Month. If you need any more information uh, on this, please do go to biodigital.com.